what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Wanda Cooper Jones, the mother of Ahmaud Arbery, says, since her son was killed, the people who took his life should lose theirs at the hands of the state of Georgia. And I am in 100% agreement. Take them down, hang them high, stick them, yeah. I don't think there's going to be any forgiveness here. I don't think I'm gonna see any family member coming off the witness stand, hugging the killer of their loved one. Finally, this can't be the first time a mother asks for the death penalty, a black mother. I see white women asking for it all the time. They were like, he should die, kill him, die. We want justice. Something tells me that black mothers in the past have said that they want the ultimate justice, capital punishment. But something also tells me that the media sweeps those type of comments under the rug. They make sure that they don't air that type of comment because, see, the media is in cahoots with the system. They're part of the problem. So it benefits them for people who are left behind to be docile and forgiving. Black people, they got to go. Now, in case you uh, not uh, privy to what's going on here. Uh, Wanda's son, Ahmad, was murdered by two men, a father and son, Gregory and his son, Travis McMichael. They claim that Ahmad, who was jogging in their neighborhood had stopped at a home that was under construction. They suspected him a burglar. Now, there was a video that was released showing Ahmad inside of this house that was under construction, but he was just looking around and then he left. Now, for anybody who think that is odd, then you need to get out of the house more often because I have stopped and looked inside of abandoned houses or houses that were under construction many, many times. Anybody who live in any community, if you have a house under construction in your neighborhood, especially, if, if you see a house under construction, it is not out of the ordinary to peep inside and see what they got going on. After all, this is gonna be your neighbor, right? Plus, you wanna see what's going on, you know, what, what they building, you know, you, you're curious to see what it's gonna look like. Maybe you can get some ideas to uh, improve your household. Maybe what they're doing in their house is going to raise the value of your house. And, and it's not just in your own community. How many times have you been riding around and you see a house and you see a house under construction and you want to get out and peep and see what it looked like? People do that all the time. And anybody who say that they don't is a liar. So they had no reason to kill this boy other than they were on the hunt. It was a thrill killing. They thought that they had the right to decide who could go walk up and down their street, who could jog on their street, who could look at a property. Now, here's a, the thing too, is that they were talking about 
someone uh, burglarizing uh, neighbor, uh, the houses in the neighborhood. But from November 1st, all the way until the time that Ahmad was killed February 23rd, there were no reports of burglaries except uh, or, or burglary, burglary or theft, except two calls. Both calls were by Travis McMichael. Both calls. Explain that. Sounds like to me they were setting it up. Perhaps Ahmad jogged in that neighborhood often. I don't know. One thing that did come out, Gregory McMichael had investigated Ahmad in a previous case. So he had a relationship with Ahmad prior to killing him. Think about that. What's going on with that? See, Gregory McMichael was an investigator for the prosecutor's office, the prosecutor who refused to have him arrested. Present evidence to a grand jury to indict him. See, there's a whole lot more going to come out about this case over the next several months. And who knows where the evidence is going to take us. Wherever it does, as long as it leads to Travis McMichael and Gregory McMichael and the dude who filmed it begging for their lives and filing last minute uh, stays of execution right before they <clears throat> check out. I'm cool. No more talk. What the haters talking about?